Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about material submittal in construction industry. Preparation of material submittal. Let's jump into the video. Let's see what material submittal is, why is it so important to the project, contents that have to be included inside the document, and how can we prepare it. What is material submittal? Material submittal refers to the process of submitting materials, products, or equipment to a client or project owner for approval before they are used or installed on a construction project. This process ensures that the materials being used meet the specifications and requirements outlined in the project plans and contract documents. Why material submittal is very important to the project, the material submittal process is an important quality control measure in construction projects, as it helps to ensure that the final product meets the expected standards and specifications. What are the components of the material submittal? Material submittals typically include detailed information about the materials or products, such as, 1. Manufacturer specifications, 2. Compliance statement, 3. Product data sheets, 4. Drawings, 5. Test reports, 6. Country of origin of the material, 7. Manufacturer supplier details, 8. Previous project list of the installer or supplier, 9. Previous approvals of the material slash product, 10. GSAS, since it is a vast section, it has to be explained separately. If I want to make video about that please comment below but to prepare a submittal just keep in mind that there is a document called GSAS, and, 11. Samples. 12. Other supporting documents. The client or project owner reviews these submittals to ensure that the materials meet the project requirements and may either approve or reject them. How it can be prepared. It can be simplified into six steps. Such as, step 1. Find the specification for the material. Step 2. Look for the material in order to comply with the material specification within your budget and availability in the local market. Step 3. Once the supplier slash manufacturer in finalized request the above below show documents in order to prepare a document. Step 4. Once you get all the document prepare a compliance statement which is the main part of the material submittal. Step 5. Update the table of content with page number. Step 6. Put your signature and company stamp. Dear everyone, if you have found my content useful or enjoyable, I would like to kindly request that you consider subscribing to my channel or following my social media accounts. By subscribing or following, you'll be the first to know when I post new content, and it would also show your support for me and my work.